Chapter 2 Edna's Hideout It was already dusk when Lily set off down the convent hill. You're late! Where have you been all this time? Uh -huh. Save it! Save it! There's a time for words and a time for action. And there's a third time. The time for sitting at the police station and filling out forms. And that time has come. Uh-uh. What now? Ah, oh, don't say anything. You want your girlfriend. What's her name? Oh, uh, Edna, right? Uh-huh. <sighs> I could tell right away that that girl meant overtime. But if she's still alive, I'll probably have to take care of this too. Although I think it's much more likely that Dr. Marcel has already found her and used a wood chipper to turn her into pig feed. If that's the case, I'll find that out too. So don't worry about your little girlfriend anymore. <sighs> why do I always have to be so damn compassionate? It's a curse. Yeah, why? Oh well. Such Wait a here while I investigate a few things. I'll watch the path to the institution. Maybe I'll learn something that way. If I discover anything, I'll give you a signal. I'll make an owl call. Ooh. Ooh. Or something like that. You won't miss it. Wait here for me. I'm sure it will only take a few hours. Lily was immensely relieved that Edna's fate was now in the hands of this exceptionally competent youth investigator. However, she would have liked to have shown him the map with the directions to Edna's hiding place. But Garrett had already disappeared. Lily risked a glance at the map. She could see more lake from here. Edna's hiding place couldn't be that far. You're not planning on running into the moor after dark, are you? Don't you know how dangerous that is? You must not hang around dangerous places. There are so many other nice places for children to visit. The Agricultural Museum, for example. Or the Job Information Center at the Employment Office. Lily was starting to think that the funny stuffed rabbit wasn't so funny after all. She stubbornly risked another look at the map. You must not hang around dangerous places. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, I'm sorry. I certainly didn't want to startle you. We're friends, after all. And friends don't play pranks on each other. All right, let's grab the map. <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna go to the bridge, to the moor lake, or to the village. Well, let's follow the map for now into the village. And of course, Gallop being excited about forms is a total mood. Lily arrived just in time to see the flying topography tool disappear through a grilled window. <laughs> that must be the police car. <laughs> Chocolate peppers. Pizza box. Okay. Uh, the bar there. suggested that this was a lion cage. <laughs> well, of course, the airport. Yeah, well, only getting. I mean, honestly, think about it. You really just had a long day. It's understandable she would get annoyed. Alright, let's see. Let's go to the police. A yellow pen? Why not? Volume? Valium? I don't know if you probably pronounce it in English. Sure, take that. Wine gums. An alcohol test. How fun. Ah, oh. uh, disappointment. I'm sober. The map lay out of reach. Alright. Police officer. 
that totally doesn't look like he's two seconds away from a panic attack. The officer was trembling all over. And it wasn't even that cold in here. Uh. Wow, what? Oh, oh, just a little girl. What are you doing out here in the middle of the <laughs> night? Aren't you worried that the loonies will catch you? Uh-uh. Well, you should be, so hurry. Get back to bed. Or did you want to make a complaint? Uh, yes, I actually want to make a complaint. Uh -huh. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, this had to happen someday. And who do you want to make a complaint about, if I may ask? Uh, Dr. Marcel. Uh. You don't mean Dr. Marcel, do you? Uh-huh. Shh, keep it down. The doctor is a very influential man. We all know he's got a few things to answer for. But you still have to be very careful with accusations like that. Unless you have evidence, I really can't help you. Damn. <sighs> you again? Do you want to make another complaint? Yes. Uh-huh. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, this had to happen someday. And who do you want to make a complaint about, if I may ask? Uh, myself. Uh -huh. You don't mean yourself, do you? Uh-huh. <laughs> Please. What terrible things could a little girl like you have done? Children your age can't even be charged with a crime. The only reason to lock up a young kid like you would be to sober you up. But I'm sure a girl who looks as well behaved as you already knows to stay away from alcohol, right? Uh-huh. You see? Of course, if you insist, you can take a voluntary alcohol test anyway. The machine is over there, against the wall. But I can't arrest you if you haven't gone and drunk nothing. Okay, we already did that, so that's pointless. We could do it again. Alright, um, I mean, apparently... I mean, I could go and tell him that I killed half a dozen people. But I cannot charge you with a crime for that. Also, important lesson from that game. Children cannot be charged with murder. Legal facts. Let's check out the bar. Bartender. Lily had never seen a bartender before, <laughs> but she was pretty sure that they didn't usually wear nightgowns. Oh, what do we have here? A little girl without parents, all alone in the night. How sweet. What brings you into this dark dive where no one can hear you scream? Alcohol. I can't serve children alcohol. I'm missing the recipe for the only alcoholic cocktail on the menu. The Volcano Berserker. Plus, I ran out of the ingredients. So, if you want a drink, you'll have to get me the right ingredients. And then, the drinks will be free. Here, the menu. If you want to order anything, just point it out to me on the menu. Alright, uh, cocktails. Neon drink ingredients. Neon green, neon yellow, which we already have on the marker. And neon pink. Uh, volcano berserker ingredients unknown. Knockout poison ingredients. Pufferfish and Valium. That's the Valium. All right. Uh. <gasps> oh my God. Okay, leave the me uh, menu. Do you hear the radio? <laughs> The song plays in the radio. Not alone, far far by. That's the song from the very beginning of the game. That in from the the intro sequence that was playing. But here is the German version. I thought they would have changed it. Uh, that the radio will play the English version as well, but it's still the German version. Oh, Pokey, I missed your voice. Oh, that is, that is so freaking nostalgic. Right, we have a collection. Lily had also received a box like this after her father had been lost at sea. It probably took the Association for the Relief of Dead Seafarers a long time to collect this. Oh, 
Lily liked everything that was colorful. Flowers, butterflies, and bruises she got from behaving badly. <laughs> Lovely. Look at the neon pink sign. Now we have something neon pink and neon yellow, and we only need neon green. Flounder automat. That's totally food safety. Flounder to go. Right? How convenient. To use the machine, you needed small change and a comfortable relationship with Salmonella. Alright, uh, let's go back out into the night uh, to the cemetery. That's totally a safe place to be. Miranya the medium. The girl seemed friendly. Um. What? I. Wait. No! This isn't Aunt Gorgula. My name is Miranya. Miranya the medium. How many more times do I have to tell you? What? But that's. One moment. Please stay on the line. Sorry, little girl. This could take a moment. It's that bartender, Max Mixo, again. A real pain in the ass. So dead, and yet so talkative. Come to think of it, the spirits are very unsettled today. They're all talking over each other. If only I had earplugs. What was that? Now listen to me, my dear lady. I'm not a greeting cards courier. I'm sure that... Max Mixo, would you please shut up for a moment? Because there are others who... Who? No, I don't know anyone called Priscilla. Miranya was busy. Lily could completely understand that. She knew how hard it was to ignore spirits. Especially those that tried to grab you at night. Alright, uh, Miranda added earplugs to tune out some of these spirits. Maybe try the wing gums. Hmm? What? Oh. Hi, little girl. What do you have there? Are those earplugs? Fabulous! Thank you. It's exactly what I need right now. Hmm. No, these are too big. So, hello? Can anyone hear me? Ah, oh, much better. Yes, loud and clear. Who wants to be first? Max Mixo? I could have guessed that. Could you possibly do me another favor? Uh-huh. It's about Max Mixo the previous bartender at the village bar. He's worried about his legacy, the volcano berserker. He'd always hoped that this drink would make him immortal someday. We both know that his plan failed, but now he literally took the recipe to his grave, and he so wanted to leave it to posterity. It's very simple. The cocktail only has three ingredients, wine gum, artemisia, and a chili pepper. Did you get that? Uh-huh. Thank you, Lily. Maybe the great Max Mixo can finally find peace. And me too. Whip Max Mixo. Well, make sure that your drink will be remembered. We keep the remaining um, white gum. Lily tried to hear voices in the fire, too. You know what you have to do, Lily. Everything has to burn. Everything. But there weren't any. At least none that she hadn't heard before. Lily is such a healthy and emotionally stable child. She really represents all of us. Ooh, green neon color. That's what we need. Oh, uh, going to question mark. I love going to question mark. Huh? Huh. Back to the village. <laughs> All right, since we cannot go to the lake right now, let's go to the bridge. The path that Garrett had taken led Lily to a small bridge over one of the brackish creeks running off from Moor Lake. Two trustworthy looking men in white lab coats were working there. Lily wasn't quite sure what to make of them. She also recognized Garrett in the bushes on the other shoreline. Apparently, 
he didn't want to be seen by the two men. And although the two nocturnal workers had made a friendly impression on Lily, she decided to follow the youth investigator's lead. And have you found anything yet? Do you have to keep asking that? I'll let you know if I discover something. Yeah. I guess you're right. I think Dr. Marcel's madness is starting to rub off on me. Ever since we found this stuffed rabbit by the lake, he's been obsessed. We should be taking care of patients instead of poking around the moor. And then there's that absurd plan with the hypnosis doll. Stop already. And keep looking. Have you actually found anything yet? Well... Lily had heard enough. Apparently, the men in white were Dr. Marcel's minions. It appeared that Edna's concern had been justified. Dr. Marcel really was looking for her. It was now more important than ever to find Edna's hiding place. All right, um, you can't really go there. Asylum attendants. Uh, yeah, try to talk to them, why not? Lily didn't want the attendants to notice her. Of course not. Uh, there was a room. sign on the feeding trough. Don't feed the oh, saber-toothed boars. Saber-toothed boars are very dangerous. In the event of an encounter, make sure you don't look like a well-behaved convent schoolgirl. Saber-toothed boars are nocturnal, grow up to six feet long, and like to lurk in the shadows. They can be frequently found near the territorial herb Artemisia, since they mark their territory on the leaves of this plant. Therefore, avoid areas where this herb grows after dark. The Forest Ranger. Lily would have gladly heeded the warning, but she had no idea how to recognize Artemisia. Yeah. Can anyone tell me how I recognize as Artemisia? There was a sign on the feeding trough. Don't feed saber tooth boar in the saber tooth they can therefore the yeah. Lily would have but she Alright. Garrett did what he was best at. Listening. Nice. Uh? Did you hear something? I, I don't know. Hopefully not another saber-toothed boar. I'm still out of breath. Alright, but now we have uh, ingredients for our first drink. So can we talk to the bartender? If you want to order anything, just point it out to me on the menu. Okay, you can just order. Shit. Uh, all right, new drink. Coming right up. Oh, by the way, that's a non-alcoholic cocktail. But don't worry, there's enough other illegal substances in it. Yay! Neon drink to make your liver glow in the dark. If you want to order, okay. a volcano berserker? Have you got all the ingredients? Uh uh. No? Then I can't help you, sweetie. A neon drink on the feeding floor. Said so. You must not contradict adults. But luckily, you know that yourself. I'll give you contradicting adults and also. <laughs> uh Let's turn that down as well. Power activate. Let's feed some boars. <laughs> if the saber-toothed boars had to mark their territory, then they should do it properly. Alright. You say with force for marking your territory and Arthur and Artemisia. Artemisia. 
Now we can mix the Volcano Berserker. A Volcano Berserker coming right up. But be careful, that drink packs a punch. And I'm not talking about punchy colada if you catch my drift. Volcano Berserker, it hits you with a flaming punch. <laughs> but Lily, what's that for? That's not good for little children. You must not touch alcohol. And milk is much better for your teeth anyway. <laughs> Look at my funny chompers. They're cute, aren't they? Uh-huh. The ball of wool. Can I see it again? Uh-huh. Some dogs playing poker. Old West Saloon. The coffee was black, just like the chasm Lily saw when she closed her eyes. Lily wasn't sure if someone as young as her should drink coffee, but there was no behavioral block, so it was probably okay. Oh, I'm stupid, of course. I forgot about that. That has us uh, leaving the hypnosis. Incredible. The coffee was so strong that it <laughs> jarred Lily out of her trance. Sorry, I forgot that. Oh, that was the mechanic. <laughs> but Lily, what's that? That's not good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Children. Uh huh. do we have? We have mayonnaise. Lily had heard that mayonnaise spoiled quickly in the sun. No cigars? Those were Cuban cigars. These Ooh. dogs were playing poker in style. In style. Hey, those are only for players. I'm a dog. Dogs playing poker. Nothing earth shattering. Um. Hey, look. The ugly girl wants to play too. Then she has to place her bet. She can't hey. play without a bet. Meow. Wrong animal, dude. Someone had forgotten bucket. to suck on their ice cubes. What a waste. Lily liked the cold. It reminded her of her bed. Okay, we still only have the uh, mayonnaise. Also, um, yeah, just a minute, man. Okay. Gold Lily digger. wanted to become a gold digger too when she grew up. Then she'd finally have her own pickaxe. What's in the saddlebag? There bag? was a lot of room for provisions in the saddlebags, so the cash cow wasn't forced to stop at every little milestone. The cash cow didn't want to trample or devour Lily. It was That's simply nice. ignoring her. Aww. Um. Um. Howdy, stranger. What's a nice little girl like you doing in a rough place like this? Wait. You're not here for the gold rush, too, are you? Well, then you might as well just pack up your bags again. The only gold around here is in my mine. And I'm the only one who knows the way there. Plus, you can't get in there right now anyway. What's past in the mine? Forget it. The way to my mind is top secret. Even I have trouble remembering it. Hmm. I should actually ride over there again. Go. I knew it. You're after my gold. Well, you can just forget it. My gold mine is good and hidden. And even if you found it, you wouldn't get in. The entrance is guarded by a Wendigo. Lily wasn't interested in the mine. 
But this Wendigo made her curious. Could he be another manifestation of her behavioral blocks? Perhaps mm. it would be worthwhile to look for the mine after all. Yes, maybe. We, you don't know what a Wendigo is, do you? Uh-uh. Well, I don't know much myself. It's some kind of Indian demon that's stopping me from getting into my mind. If you want to know more, you need to ask the shaman. He's knocking around here somewhere. Shaman? Sure. The shaman? No idea. I never met him personally. Sometimes I see his smoke signals on the horizon. That's it. But if anyone can tell you about Wendigos, it's him. All right. Thank you for the talk. Um, let's find the courtyards. Quack doctor. The gnome made a trustworthy impression. Step Very trustworthy. right up, step right up, and admire the latest accomplishments in modern medicine. Anti-wrinkle cream with skin-firming materials from outer space. Natural food supplements with amusing motifs from the animal world. Our brand new product, the pill for in-between for all those who didn't have time before and don't want to wait till afterwards. Step right up, marvel at the sights, and take a free sample of Alcofix. The exclusive miracle treatment with an alcohol base. It tastes 100 proof and works 100 proof. Hello, little lady. Are you interested in a sample bottle of Alcofix, the miracle brandy? Uh-huh. Hmm. You actually look pretty healthy to me. And I'm afraid even Alcofix won't fix that problem with your ears. Do you have any bad pains? Incurable genetic diseases? Tinnitus? Hepatitis? Cervical cancer? Uh-uh. All of them. Mm. Yeah. I'm so sorry for you, Why but I can't give away? you a sample of Alcofix like you are now. Come back when you're sick. Okay. How about the sheriff? The door was firmly locked. Too bad. <gasps> All right. How about the cemetery? As Lily stared into the flames, she suddenly became dizzy. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh. Hi, Lily. Did you enjoy your little excursion? Uh-huh. Okay, for a second, I was really worried that we would wake up from staring in the fire again as well. Huh? Is that you, little girl? What are you doing in limbo? Don't tell me you're... <coughs> yes, I'm dead. Must not lie. Spoil sport. All right. Um, can talk to any of you. Do anything here. So let's go back to the village. And to the prairie. Lily seemed to be surrounded by strange birds today. How sweet. Yeah, yeah. Right back at you. Tell me, uh, you weren't planning on decaying in the next couple of days, were you? Uh-uh. Uh, oh, well. No problem, huh? I should be cutting down on carcasses anyway. My dietician is a pulling his hair out. More fresh fruit, he says. I have a salad and no engine. I know all that. But what can I do, huh? I just love that rotten stuff. I just had to smell the rotting flesh. And I start circling. And honestly, out here in the desert, huh? It's hard to maintain a healthy diet. You try and leave something for later. 
and the bacteria just move right in. You could get the most horrible diseases, huh? Festering boils, oozing eczema. Oh, man, all oh, this talk of food has made me hungry. Please, leave me alone with my growling belly. Characters, some characters do have funny accents. Like the, um, no, it wasn't the bartender. Who did I think had a funny accent? I can't remember. I asked someone about their uh, accent a while ago. But yeah, was the, the monster is a funny one. Oh, was it uh, the spider, I think? Right, the spider demon. Alright, sundial. Hey, look! Now we have rancid mayonnaise. Now we have good mayonnaise. Now we have rancid mayonnaise. Lily looked around. Why was there never anyone around to stop you from doing something when you needed it the most? <sighs> Ooh. Hehe, <laughs> <laughs> now I'm sick. Back to the village. And to the doctor. Step right up, step right up, and admire the latest accomplishments in modern medicine. Anti-wrinkle cream with skin-firming materials from outer space. Natural food supplements with amusing motifs from the animal world. Our brand new product, the pill for in-between. For all those who didn't have time before and don't want to wait till afterwards. Step right up. Marvel at the sights and take a free sample of Alcofix, the exclusive miracle treatment with an alcohol base. It tastes 100 proof and works 100 proof. Oh, it's you again. No, don't bother coming any closer. Not unless you've picked up a contagious disease since I last saw you. Uh huh. Do you have any bad pains? Incurable genetic diseases? Tinnitus? Hepatitis? Cervical cancer? Why, hello! What do we have here? <laughs> You've really caught something very special there. Congratulations! This definitely qualifies you to test a sample of Alcofix, the miracle brandy. To be honest, you almost look overqualified. Your rash is so severe. I'm not sure even Alcofix can heal it. Bravo! You might as well just take the entire bottle. Well, then I thought it's supposed to be a miracle. All right, let's drink it. The color of the bottle reminded Lily of someone. You must not touch alcohol. Huh? That's Had medicine. Had that bottle just talked? Hmm. Huh? <laughs> Are you <laughs> completely nuts? You could easily get sick and go. Which does? Which doesn't mean that I'm sick, and no. I don't need this this alcoholic. Either. No, of course not. Here, we can't get you for your nose. Oh, thanks. <laughs> What's that? Quick, the medicine. <laughs> <laughs> so yum, finally tasty. So nice, so nice. 
the genie had broken his own rule. Apparently, it was okay to have a swig or two in certain situations. What, what you doing? Oh, Getting no. hammered. Oh, yay. 